Okay, so we're offshore. We're 500 miles from home and um, we've used up all of our jerry cans. Um, the fuel tank uh, does have fuel in it. Um, and we're okay, well, how much fuel in it, how much fuel is in it? And uh, on a few boats that I've been on uh, um, you know, offshore, they had a dipstick. Uh, and that was it and um, there wasn't a gauge that told you how many gallons were left so you had to uh, to go and dip the tank and um, but as you know or as you may know um, often uh, the gas tanks aren't symmetric so you you know that it's so many inches when it's full but if it's 15 inches of fuel when it's full what what if you've only got you know seven inches or seven and a half inches of fuel left usually in a boat the uh the fuel tanks are are uh you know on an angle or they're because they're 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 built next to the hull so that the bottom half of the tank has less volume so Let's just walk through that exercise. Okay, so we're gonna go and we're gonna dip the tank. Okay, so this is my this is my uh, my fuel tank here, and uh, I've got a couple of rags set up here. So this is exactly the scenario that I was talking about. Is uh, I've got a fuel tank here. It's not square. It's got a sloped side. And uh, I do have a dipstick right there, so uh, I am going to uh, I'm going to pull that dipstick out, and I'm also going to turn on my headlamp for a little bit of extra light. Uh, there we go, on the scene. And, uh, now I just filled this tank, but uh, I want to show you something. Um, boy, can you, can you tell, <laughs> um, how much fuel is on there, is in there? It's really hard on a stainless steel dipstick. And I tried and I tried and I tried and I, I tell you what, you know what, I couldn't do it. Um, what I, uh, what a buddy of mine said was, Steve, you got to get a wooden dipstick. So, uh, this is my wooden dipstick. Um. I would get a square one, and I'll show you, you'll see why in a minute. I also have the inches graduated on it so that it's, you know, quite, so that it's uh, simple to uh, to read. And um, the, uh, so what you do is, you know, you, uh, you'll dip the tank. Now my tank is basically full, so I'm not gonna go all the way to the, uh, to the bottom. But uh, so here we are, and uh, just be careful not to get it fuel here. But this is the kind of thing that you have to do is we've got to, you know, get and look where the, you know, you see where the fuel is reflecting. And it's not as easy as it, as it seems, but... Uh, so we're right there, we're at about nine and a half inches there. I'm not sure if, if you can see that in the camera, but the um, <clears throat> I would use the, uh, because of the difficulty, and of course, lighting's never good. You're always using a headlamp. The boat's gonna be bouncing around. Um, the, uh, I tried a round, you know what? I tried the round one. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it did read, but, uh, it, uh, and this one's totally dry. I haven't used it, so it'll probably be a little bit easier to use, but, uh, uh, so there you can, we get a good mark there on the round one. But after you've used the dipstick a few times, um, it's not that easy to see because you kind of get, it gets saturated with uh, with fuel so you got to dry it off this one's you know saturated so what I find is the one with the flat side 
Um, there I'm going right to the top now. And, uh, you know, so even then we're looking and you're, you're kind of looking for the reflection. There you go. So, and I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up, but I'm at, uh, 13, about 13 and a half inches there. It's right about, it's right about, uh, it's right there. So, um, the, the flat side gives you a little better reflection. So, now that I've, so I've said that, um, the, uh, uh, the steel one, <laughs> just to show you, then I'll just, you know, I'll stick it in part way, and, man, I mean, I still can't see it. And when the boat's bouncing around like hell, right, and you're, I still can't see it. I know I dipped it. There's fuel in there. I can't see it on the stainless steel dipstick. It's just too hard. So I would use a wooden one. I would suggest a flat side so you can get a reflection of the fuel with your headlamp. Um, okay, so now we know we've got, uh, you know, we've got so many inches of fuel. Okay. So let's let's just say this is when this tank is full, it's got 15 inches. Okay, well what if it's at six inches? Well, what does that mean? Is or let let let's even keep make the math easy. It's seven and a half inches. Okay, well how many gallons is that? At seven and a half inches. Okay, so we got seven and a half inches on the on the dipstick. How many gallons is that? Well, the answer is we don't know because the tank is not uniform. So what I'm going to suggest that you do is that if, and some boats that, you know, a prior owner, this is a 1984 Contessa 38. So uh, maybe somebody did it somewhere along the way, never got passed on to me. It wasn't in any, any of the, the materials that I received. So what you got to do is run the tank down as as low as you're comfortable so and i and wh why i say that is because especially in an old boat if you haven't had your fuel tank cleaned in a while and this happened to me okay you can have sludge and sediment in the bottom and that will give you no end of grief if that stuff gets sucked into uh into the tank um, especially if you're um, you're offshore and the, the boat's bouncing around, it's all mixing up. Um, so um, what I did was um, I I brought the uh, the tank down to you know there was a few inches still in the bottom of the tank, and then I went to the gas you know to the diesel pump, and I started adding like five gallons at a time. And then I add five gallons, then I dip the tank and get, and then write down how many inches it was. And I add another five gallons and then I dip the tank, add another five, dip the tank, another five, dip the tank until I got to the top and then I dip the tank. So this is what I got here. So I've constructed this graph here. It's got the number of gallons that I added on the bottom here. And then it's got the, the tank inches up the side. So I started here and I just call that my datum. Um, so in this case, you know, I was actually at uh, six inches left in the tank. And then um, I added five gallons and I got to nine inches. And then I added another five gallons and I got to uh, just about 11. I added another five and I was close to 13, and then I added another five, I was 14 and change, and then I added uh, uh, another two and a half to get me to, to, the, to the full tank. So the point being, yeah, this is, this is not linear, and every tank is gonna be different. So you need to have this on board. The reason I'm saying this is, 
because when you're offshore and okay we got nine inches in on the stick okay come across oh that's about five gallons of uh fuel left or oh it's 12 inches on the tank okay well that's 14 gallons and then when you know how many gallons you have for me at 2000 rpm um if i've got 14 gallons that means i got about 28 hours of uh, operating time which means okay if i can run the engine for 28 hours and i can manage to do five knots quick math in my head here i can go 140 nautical miles so if i'm 200 miles away and i got no wind okay well i'm not going to make it i can i can go part of that distance but I got to save some fuel to, you know, get into the marina at the end or, uh, you know, the last little bit here. So, um, anyway, that is a, uh, uh, an important element. And, um, I've been, uh, you know, I've been on a couple of passages where, um, we had to figure that out on the fly. We had to build this chart on the fly. Um, I also had, um, was on another passage where, uh, we we didn't we didn't do it. We just kind of rolled the dice and said, okay, well we think we can make it, and we did it. And uh, so every boat I've ever owned uh, since then, the first thing I I did was my fuel consumption test at 2,000 RPM, which is in the prior video, and then create the fuel gaff the the fuel graph, in so that when you use the dipstick. Um, you know how many gallons of fuel you actually have left. Unless, you know, if your boat already has that, great, then, you know, you can, you don't need to listen to this. But um, um, both, both of the boats that I owned, my Contessa 26 and my Contessa 38, they didn't have anything like this. I had to create it on my own. And I've been on a number of other boats on passages where we didn't have this information. And it's, and it's always a source of stress. So it's uh, the time to do it is at the dock when you're comfortable get a good graph and uh, and then know, you know know where you stand so that you're oh we got you know we got lots of fuel well we got a great buffer we got 300 miles to go and we got you know 200 gallons or whatever it is uh, anyway I just thought I would share that with you.